sports has to do with a lot of bringing people together through not just competition, but that soul core of just shared passion. I'm a huge proponent of gaming, um, especially as a way to reach kids in education. And so when I heard that UC Irvine and collaboration with Orange County Department of Education and collaboration with the Samuel Foundation are having this big esports push a year or two ago, it was a no brainer for me and for our school here. Because I know, you know, these kids, they're all about gaming and they love it. And it really is a way that we can meet them where they are. I don't play games like fairly often, but when I do, I'm entertained. And the reason I joined the esports class was because of the entrepreneurship also. And it's a very different from just a regular class. It gives you an open mindedness about like new things that are happening in the industry and the world. Here at Samali Academy, there's 9th through 11th grade where each year has a different specification for esports. So 9th grade with the game design, 10th uh, grade with entrepreneurship, and 11th grade marketing. And each class is dedicated to helping teach those kids those specific parts of esports along with English. The English classes really is about meeting kids where they are. So my class subject is esports English. This is a new experience. For a lot of people, they're not very interested in English. And like I think this is a fun way to learn about English. And at the same time, learn about something that you might have taken interest of and that you didn't know about. And I think that's very cool too. Gaming is beyond what close-minded people think. There's, there's a lot of writing and there's um, a lot of literature in gaming. It's a very good way to get students entertained in what you want to teach them. Right here, they're giving us an opportunity to do what we like to do. So some examples of what we've done in our esports class is that we had to make our own video game and it was a storyline that happened to us. And for example, mine was getting lost in New York and we made a video game about that. I'm like, I'm actually very shy and I don't collaborate a lot of with people and socialize. But this time, like, it made us all collaborate with each other and it made us think together and try to be a team. And the same things that they liked, I liked, which is even crazier. And it actually made me want to work and want to finish our storyline. You know, um, our mission here is to serve a diverse population. And some of that diversity includes kids who are well behind academically and motivationally. And we developed these esports classes around the idea of meeting kids where they are. Where when I was in school, I was never taught to collaborate. I was never taught to communicate or think critically, but through the lens of esports and STEM, these kids are gaining those soft skills. You know, it gives them a reason to buy in. But if you can put them in a healthy situation and structure some curriculum around it and you and watch the teamwork, watch the collaboration, watch the skills start to develop within that young man or young woman, they're gonna go, wow. Watch it transform when they when they get into the world of video games.